Tank gun projectiles often appear visually similar to artillery gun projectiles, though they are typically smaller and often feature distinguishable physical characteristics, such as darts or fins. Common tank gun projectiles range from 40 to 70 centimetres in length and 105 to 125 millimetres in nominal diameter. Tank guns can fire a range of different kinds of projectiles, chosen depending on the target. Two common types are high explosive munitions that explode on impact and are often used against buildings or fortified structures, such as walls, and kinetic energy penetrators, which pierce armoured vehicles and other targets through the force of the impact, rather than an explosion. The key parts of a high explosive projectile are the fuse, the steel body containing the explosive payload, and the obturating rings. Kinetic energy penetrators instead include a dart and sabot, sometimes referred to as petals. Both often feature fins, and depending on the projectile, can be loaded with either separate loading charges or a cartridge case. The distinctive feature of tank gun projectiles is they are fired from tank guns, typically mounted on tanks. Modern tank guns are generally smooth bore weapons, which means fins are needed to stabilise the projectile's flight. The projectile and cartridge are loaded from the gun's breech. If a projectile features a sabo, these will separate soon after being fired. These are sometimes found as remnants before the point of impact. Unlike mortars and artillery guns, which are most often used when the target is not visible. Tank guns are direct fire weapons, used when a target is within the line of sight. They are designed for relatively short ranges, with the typical effective range of a tank gun being between two and four kilometers. Modern tank gun projectiles are typically more accurate than mortars or artillery guns. One particular risk to civilians comes when they miss their targets, as the projectiles can travel up to 10 kilometers in a relatively flat trajectory 